Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Biology Notes. Today I will discuss about the general structure of the eye. The diameter of the eye measures approximately 25 mm. It is suspended in the bony orbital socket by extrinsic muscles. In the last video, I had already discussed about the different accessory structures of the eye. So today I will discuss about the general structures of the eye. The eye has different layers, different chambers and lens. Today I will discuss only the different layers of the eye. The wall of the eye consists of three layers, fibrous layer, vascular layer and the retina. The fibrous layer consists of sclera and cornea. The vascular layer consists of choroid, ciliary body and iris. So now I will try to explain all these layers. Here I have drawn a schematic diagram to show different layers of the eye. This is fibrous layer. It is consists of sclera and cornea. This portion of the fibrous layer is known as sclera. It is the firm, opaque, white outer layer of the eyeball. It covers the posterior 5 sixth of the eye. It consists of dense collagenous connective tissue with elastic fibers. The sclera helps to maintain the shape of the eye, protects the internal structures of the eye, provides an attachment point for the extrinsic eye muscles. This is cornea. It covers the anterior one-sixth of the eye. It is avascular and transparent. It permits light to enter the eye. The cornea is responsible for most of the refraction of light entering the eye. The cornea consists of a connective tissue matrix containing collagen, elastic fibers and proteoglycans. The outer surface is covered with a layer of stratified squamous epithelium and the inner surface is covered with a layer of simple squamous epithelium. This middle layer is the vascular layer of the eye. This layer consists of choroid, ciliary body and iris. This is choroid. It is the Posterior portion of the vascular layer. It is a very thin structure. It consists of a vascular network and many melanin containing pigment cells. That's why it appears black or dark brown in color. The black color absorbs light so that it is not reflected inside the eye. The choroid is continuous anteriorly with the ciliary body. It is a ring-like thickening. In this diagram, I have tried to show the lens and ciliary body. The ciliary body consists of an outer ciliary ring and an inner group of ciliary processes. The ciliary ring and the base of the ciliary processes contain smooth muscle called ciliary muscles. These are suspensory ligaments. They attach the ciliary ring and processes to the lens of the eye. The contraction of the ciliary muscles can change the shape of the lens. The ciliary process also produces aqueous humor. This is iris. It is the colored part of the eye. 
it extends over the anterior surface of the lens. The iris is a contractile structure consisting mainly of smooth muscle. It also contains melanin containing pigment cells scattered in the connective tissue. This is pupil. It is a central circular aperture of the iris. Light enters the eye through pupil and the iris regulates the amount of light by controlling the size of the pupil. Finally, this is retina, the inner layer of the eye. It is a thin, delicate layer covering the inner surface of the eye posterior to the ciliary body. The retina consists of two components, the neural retina and the retinal pigment epithelium. The neural retina contains over 126 million light-sensitive receptors and complex neuronal networks. The photoreceptor cells respond to light. The retinal pigment epithelium composed of simple cuboidal melanin-containing cells. Near the center of the posterior retina is a small yellow spot approximately 4 mm in diameter. It is known as macula. In the center of the macula is a small pit known as phobia centralis. Just medial to the macula is a white spot known as the optic disc. Through this optic disc, the central retinal artery enters and the central retinal vein exits the eyeball. It is also the place where axons from the neurons of the retina converge to form the optic nerve. The optic disc contains only axons and no photoreceptor cells. Therefore, it does not respond to light and is called the blind spot of the eye. So this is all about the different layers of the eye. In the next video, I will discuss about the different chambers and the structures of the lens. Subscribe the channel and share the video if you like. If you have any query, then comment. Stay with us. Keep watching. Thank you.